So we are stepping into the sauna right now. It's about 17 minutes in since I started it up. And right before I did that, it went to 41 degrees Celsius, was just under 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, we have the microphone in here and we're trying to, to do this uh, by holding it, hand holding it here. But, you know, this is uh, this is pretty warm, but I'm used to it being around like I said before, anywhere from 56 to 62 when I get into it, but that's usually after a good 45 minutes of cardio. I've given this 18 minutes right now. At 16, it was a 41. At 17, it was 42, so 107, 108 degrees. It's pretty warm in here. I'm already starting to sweat a little bit. Now, the thing that's interesting about uh, the, you know, the, what we did today, which was unintentional, was usually when I step into this, it's right after a workout, my pores are opened up, I'm sweaty from cardio or lifting weights uh, for 30 to 45 minutes or an hour, then I'm sweating instantly. I cooled down and I was within, you know, the around 72, 73 degrees outside within the apartment. And now I am here as I step in, I can feel it penetrating after like one to two minutes or so, I start to feel myself heating up. Uh, obviously, it's not going to get up to like the 200, 220 degrees that uh, normal, say, rock or electric saunas get up to. The infrared is different, different technology, and uh, but right now, it is warm. It is getting warm, and I'm already pouring sweat from my elbow here, and I'm starting to feel it. So, we're going to come back as I'm in here, as it warms up, and probably at the end of my session, uh, talk about it, and then go to the cleaning portion and not fun portion of the infrared sauna but very integral very important to keep this clean and um that's about it i'm gonna just uh, sit here listening to the podcast and stuff like that through the bluetooth and i'll be back and i'll hit you back in a little bit by the way as i step out i feel a huge difference even though this hasn't heated up to the 65 degrees celsius i feel a difference between being in there in the sauna in in there and out here in the apartment. So we're on the iPhone and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a uh, landmark here. We hit 50 degrees Celsius in under 30 minutes. So around 28, 29 minutes, we hit 50 degrees Celsius. And just to give you an idea, I'm gonna turn the phone around so you can see I've been in here about, what, 11, 12 minutes, something like that. Very short amount of time from being cooled down, completely cooled down until after my workout. And uh, I'll show you how sweaty I am already. So here I am, I'm, I'm sweating, you know, I'm sweating pretty good. And it's been like this for about five or six minutes, like I said, from being completely cooled down out there. And it wasn't even, we're not even, we're 15 degrees Celsius underneath the maximum temperature of the infrared sauna we have here, the Evolve 15 from Sunstream. Uh, but you can see sweat just dripping off my elbow, back of my hand here. Uh, a deep penetrating sweat, more so than a regular sauna. So that's why I really was fascinated by the infrared saunas. I apologize about the iPhone audio, but I wanted to get this in real time. We have the uh, camera out there, and uh, but we're going to get more footage uh, of, you know, what's going on in here as we go, because at 50 degrees, 30 minutes left, I'm hoping it goes up to almost the max, and we'll check back in with you. I'm going to sit in here until... It's kind of unbearable. That's what I do on the sauna right now. And I sort of try to meditate. I sort of try to um, just think about what I'm going to do, how I'm going to edit this video, positive, productive thoughts while I'm in here uh, detoxing and sweating my butt off. Hey guys, it's about 12 minutes later and we're hovering between 53 and 54 degrees. There's the temperature sensor there. And I'm in a uh, complete flop sweat. So even though it's not, there's 54. Even though it's not, there's 53, 54. Even though it's not up to the main uh, maximum temperature, I should say, of 65 degrees Celsius, I am sweating uh, quite profusely. So we'll turn it around so you can see. I, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be much of a difference on camera, but I am sweating uh, pretty well. So there we go. Yeah, more sweat. 12 minutes after I checked in last time, I am in a, uh, a pretty good sweat here. Feel good. It doesn't feel overbearing or overpowering or overwhelming, uh, but it's starting to get pretty hot in here around 54 degrees Celsius, as I said. Oh, my goodness. Look at that 47-year-old gut I need to get rid of. But the sweat is uh, it's definitely helping me uh, feel 
less joint pain, definitely helping me feel just better all around. Saunas are awesome. So the fact that I have this in here, I said it a million times, is an unbelievable blessing. So we'll check in with you. I'm going to stay in here, see how hot it can get. Probably check back in on the iPhone just because I don't want a $1,000 camera in the sauna when it's heated up. Check it back with you. We got eight minutes left. So that'll make a total of an hour from warm up until I get out and 56 degrees Celsius and it's starting to get rough. So we're nine degrees Celsius under the max temperature and I'm ready to get out. So even when we went in and it was a little bit lower than max temperature, it still penetrated the infrared sauna technology and it still got me into a really good sweat. So we're gonna get out of here Maybe even in the next couple of minutes, we'll see. But the 56, and it's topping off around 57 or so. I opened the door for a second. Now it's dropping a little bit. The temperature sensor is right there, like I said. So it might be bouncing back and forth. Uh, we'll be uh, seeing you on the other side of the sauna. All right. So try to get out of here. Okay. We are uh, done with the session. I lasted until five minutes was left. It was 56 degrees Celsius. And my goodness. I mean, I am dripping all over the gym mat, so we're going to have to mop up the gym mat. That's a lot of sweat, though. Now, the thing, too, is I have to take a while to cool down. So I'll take a cold shower, but I'll still be in a flop sweat for at least 20 to 30 minutes. So I didn't check my heart rate or anything, but the infrared sauna, like I talked about in a recent video about four more benefits of infrared sauna therapy, uh, weight loss. So I was burning calories in there my core body temperature just kept going up my body was fighting to keep it down and we'll probably wear a heart rate monitor in there eventually to see if it even uh survives the heat but the next segment after i cool down i don't know i might come back 20 30 minutes from now and still be uh sweating all over the floor